Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing very well. In this video, we're going to start the second block of this course. And in this second block, um, we're going to learn to optimize really hard problems, okay? And we're gonna learn to do it with the help of the computer. So we're gonna keep on programming and, and we're gonna keep on having a lot of fun. So the, the title of this first unit is scheduling. And this is because the problem we're gonna focus is called the scheduling problem. And that is basically what we're going to learn in this short video. The outline of, of this presentation of this unit is the one you can see in the screen. But in this video, we're just going to learn what the scheduling problem is, okay? The bibliography for, for this unit is the one that you can see here in the screen. And in principle, if you watch the videos and you understand what we discuss here on the videos, you don't really have to look at these books. But if we have to recommend one, the first one is especially, especially good. Um, okay, let's let's start with the schedule, the scheduling problem. Okay, so basically, what we have in this problem is a set of jobs that we have to complete. And each of these jobs can be divided in a series of tasks, a sequence of tasks that they have to be completed in a certain order. Okay. And to do these tasks, these jobs, we have a set of resources. And the problem, the scheduling problem is how to allocate each of these tasks to the different resources that we have. Okay. This this sounds uh, very abstract, so we're going to focus on on manufacturing processes to, to understand what this is about better. Okay, so in a manufacturing process, uh, each job is an item we wish to manufacture. Okay, so imagine we have to manufacture three components. Each of these components is, is a different job. And each of these jobs, let's focus first on, on the first component, can be divided in a series of tasks in a certain order. So the first component, the first thing we gotta do is to drill. And after drilling, we have to grind. And that would complete the process, okay? The second component has to be milled first and then ground. And the third component, the third job, uh, its tasks would be grind, then drill, and then mill, and then we finished. Okay, so those would be examples of, of jobs and, and their tasks. And to do each of these tasks, we have a set of resources, which in this case would be uh, machines, drilling machines, milling machines, or grinding machines. And, and basically in scheduling, in uh, what we have to do is to allocate each of these jobs to different resources in order to optimize some measure of performance like like could be the the length of time that it takes us to process all the jobs okay so to be absolutely clear we have the jobs each job can be decomposed in a series of of tasks and these tasks have to be um, completed in a certain order and we have the different resources that we can use to to process these jobs okay that's that's the idea and th this is a very complex problem it, it, maybe it doesn't look like it right now but you'll you'll see that this is a very difficult problem and a very general problem okay so far we've we've been talking about manufacturing but but this is a problem that appears in many different contexts. We will give you a few more examples later. And this general problem can be divided into sub-problems, um, and we're gonna look at them in increasing order of difficulty. The first one is called loading, and that involves just assigning tasks to resources. In this case, this is, this is obvious because each task, which would be drilling, milling, or grinding, can be assigned to one and only one machine. So in this particular example, the, 
the loading subprogram is 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 trivial okay but in general it doesn't have to be because we may have machines that can undertake uh, many different tasks and and we may have tasks that can go to to different machines so this is not obvious by any means the second sub problem is sequencing and that involves loading but also determining the order in which jobs are processed within each resource so for instance if you look at the drilling machine it will have to process each of the three components so we will have to decide in which order that drilling machine um, processes each of the jobs and the last problem which is the more general and it's the one that we're going to to study and and solve here to some extent uh, is the scheduling problem and that that is concerned with establishing both the timing and use of resources within any any process and basically so here we would have to say not only the order but we would also have to determine exactly at what time each job is going to be processed in which machine that is the problem we're going to deal with here so the typical problem is basically we've got n jobs that you can think of as items in this particular example and each item um, is composed of a series of tasks in a specific order that we we have to accomplish and to do that we have m machines that can undertake one or, or, or several of those tasks so there are two sequences here if you think about it the first sequence is the sequence of tasks within each job and that is predetermined that is part of the definition of the problem so here job one the component one would have to be drilled and then ground job two milled and then ground and job three grilled um, drilled and then uh, sorry ground drilled and then and then milled and then there is the second sequence which is not part of the definition of the problem but is is the solution that we have to come up with and that is determining the optimal order in which each of the tasks will be processed by each of the resources okay and that is our aim to find um, an order that optimizes some measure of performance and as we said before this is an extremely general problem it's very complex but it appears in many different contexts like for instance um, how you allocate runways in an airport to deal with takeoffs and, and landings so there are the resources would be the runways and the tasks would be the takeoffs and landings um, in computing it appears all the time because we've got uh, programs that we want to execute those would be the, the tasks the jobs and we have a set of resources would be the the cpus the processing units okay in hospitals you've got the staff you've got medical doctors and you have to process patients that may have to go to different services so this is a very general and complex problem so with this we finished this first video and i'm already very much looking forward to seeing you on the next one okay see you later